minute. Who are you? You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Hey guys, it's Jazz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe. Cause why not? Like you already watched this video, you might as well like, you might as well comment, you might as well turn the post notifications on so you can be notified when I drop another video because I'm dropping video on video on video on video. So in today's video, I am going to be making a, a bandana puffer coat. Yeah, so yeah. This was so hard. This was a struggle. Like people keep asking me to make them one, but I'm sorry. Like I probably would never make this again. It was just way too hard. Like I, cause I maybe cause I didn't know what I was doing for real, and I ain't had no template, and I ain't have nothing. But it was so hard. But looking back at the footage, it looked easy. But when I was doing it, it it was hard. It was very hard. So yeah, before we get into this video, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Okay, so I started off with this pink coat, and it's just an old coat. Like I don't know if I would advise you to start from scratch or just use a coat, but honestly. The method I did, I was really starting from scratch and using the coat at the same time, so it's really up to you. But yeah, all I'm gonna do is crop this coat and take off the zipper so I can so it can be ready for the maintenance. Okay, so the crop is pretty good, and now here are the colors of my bandanas. I'm going. And now I'm just going to figure out like the layout I want to be because I don't know, I still don't know yet. And then I'm going to cut it out and then sew it together. Okay, so I figure out this is how I want my layout to be, but I don't want all this extra fabric up here. Well, this can stay, but like all this extra where I say like made in China, 100% cotton, all that, I'm, I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so once you have all the things cut out, you just want to sew it like this. It's supposed to be like patches, so you just want to get whatever side you want to be facing. Good side facing up, and then bad side facing down. And then you want to take the other patch, and good side facing down, and then bad side facing up. And you want to pin along the line, fold each of the material. And then I'm just going to sew a straight stitch along this line, and then... You fold it down and shit together like this. Just like this one. So yeah, that's all you're going to do. And then I'm just going to do this whole same thing. Like finding each, finding where I want each patch to go. And then cutting it out. And then sewing them together for the arms. And then the back. And then once I have each panel, I'm going to come back. This is the back piece. Think this way. Yeah, this is the back piece. And then half the arm piece here. I think it's here. Half the arm piece here. And then this is the front two pieces. So, okay, so now basically I'm gonna set all the other patches to the side that I already got and work on the inside. So I'm gonna turn the jacket inside out and all I'm gonna do is add bandanas right here right here and on this side only the places you can see i'm not gonna add them to the arms because i feel like you're not gonna be able to see it and i only have these bandanas to spare this color so the inside gonna be dark brown okay so and you have to sew the inside first because so you won't see the stitches on the front okay so as you can see one bandana can fit the front so all i'm gonna do is cut out the shape of the armhole Here's the inside. I sewed the inside first because you can see the stitches on the outside. 
Okay, so now that the inside is done, I'm gonna come back, go back to the outside. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just gonna show y'all the first panel and, and one arm. So, here's one panel, here's the front. All I'm gonna do is cut around the arm part and leave a little seam allowance and the neck. Then, for the arm also, I'm going to cut this open so it could be, it could be easier to sew on the bottom. And then I'm going to just sew it back together at the end. This, sew, and then sew. And then sew it back together and it be seamless. So yeah, hopefully this works out how I'm thinking it should work out. I try to do this first. And then for the back, I'm just gonna do the back real quick. For the back, I'm just going to cut around the armhole. Okay, so after I had all the pieces cut out, like match to where I wanted to put, where I wanted them to go, all I did was sew those together. So I sewed the arm pieces to the front of the vest part and then sewed the arm pieces to the back of the vest part to make like a little jacket sleeve or a jacket to go on top of the coat. So basically this is how the front is supposed to go and I don't like it no more. So I'm gonna change the, this is the back. Like I'm gonna make this the back. So I'm going to sew this part together and then make this the front. I connected all the pieces together and basically I made like a little sleeve to go over the coat just so you won't see so many like seams on the, on the jacket. And once I sew the arms to the jacket part, I just started to make a patch part for the neck area. Okay, this is optional, but I wanted pockets because this is a coat and I might as well get a pocket. So, first, all you have to do is get some fabric with two sides, cut around your hand, and make sure it's big enough for your phone to fit in. And then, and then just sew around the circle part. Keep leaving the area where you put your hand in open. And to attach the pockets, all you want to do is place your pockets wherever you want to put them. Cut a slit in the fabric big enough for the pocket to fit in. Turn the pocket good side facing out and put the pocket inside of the slit. And pin around it and sew around it. And once you push your pocket back in, it should be a pocket basically. And when you pull it out, the good side should. Okay, so I'm done with all the pieces, the pocket, the neck, everything. So now it's time to sew this whole little jacket sheet on to this jacket. So.
okay so after everything is pinned on the coat i left like little openings to stuff in some more cotton because the jacket was looking a little flat like it was looking way too flat so i left little openings you will see inside the jacket part so i can stuff in more cotton okay i'm finally done kinda all i did was add lines to here this is the pocket add lines to here and add lines to here and all i'm gonna do now is stuff each little pocket with cotton and then all i had to do was add the zipper the elastic on the bottom and the elastic at the arms and sew the arms of course and then i'm gonna be done finally finally Okay, so I added all the fluff everywhere except the bottom where the elastic gonna go. And now I'm just going to sew the arms together and add elastic around the wrist. Okay, so after I added the elastic to the wrist, all I did was do the same exact thing to add the elastic on the bottom of the jacket. This is it. All I gotta do is add the zipper now. Um, it kind of looked weird. I don't know. I feel like it would have been better if I made it from scratch. But the back looked good. The front looks undone. I'm just gonna add the zipper. I don't think it's gonna look good, but we'll see after the zipper is on everything is done finally like this jacket took me so long so long like three four five days from morning to night days like way too long so yeah without further ado here is the final results Okay, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was this video was like highly requested, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for my next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.